All right, guys, welcome back to the show. And um, we just left trending. We're on to the guest segment of the show. And our first guest is Ini Akpan. She's the founder of SW Advantage Resource, a ghostwriting and publishing firm. So she's a publisher, literally provides editing services and also content writing. And she has stamped her foot on the Nigerian literary space in the last four years. So welcome to the show. Also a certified coach and a consultant. We don't get people like this every time on the show, content okay. writers and ghost writers. Welcome, Ini. How are you doing? Thank you, Tulu. I'm mm. very well, thank you. How's your day going? I mean, hope it wasn't too hectic coming here, traffic. No, it wasn't. Okay. It was quite smooth. Very, very, very smooth. Right. Okay. So let's talk about what you do. And when the first thing that struck me was ghost writers, and predominantly ghost writers are not so common here in Nigeria. How did you get into that whole space of content creation? Because normally, it's almost like who would want to, who wants to hire people like that to right, write yeah. for other people. Yeah. It just seems like something that not many people do. So how did you even get into that space? Okay, so I'll start with a story. Um, I started editing in, um, professionally in 2015 when I moved back into Lagos to do my master's. And, you know, so friends hooked me up and I started editing professionally. But it wasn't quite easy, um, especially because I had wanted to go into HR. And I realized, look, this could pay you. Why not start a business instead of, you know, uh, just searching for work? So I started a business, but it wasn't easy. And um, incidentally, I attended a program, Live Your Dreams Africa Conference okay. in 2016. And I got to hear Cosmos Maduka share his story. And it just, it lit something up inside of me. It said, look, what you're trying to do is possible. You're not the only one going through this. You're not the only one who is having it difficult. You're not the only one who started at ground zero. Okay. So you can make it if this guy made it. And then it occurred to me that, look, even though I'm an editor, ghostwriting, like, we need more people to tell their stories. And I thought it would be easy to, you know, just get people to tell their stories. But I realized eventually that some people don't want to tell their stories because of fear. And so people who have stories to tell do not have the time or they do not even know that they can write. So okay. they need other people to write those stories for them. Okay. Sorry to cut you short, but let's backtrack because a lot of people, who is a ghostwriter? I mean, ghosts. So who is a ghostwriter? So what? essentially, a ghostwriter is someone who writes for somebody else and doesn't take the credit for it. Mm -hmm. So if I were to ghostwrite your book, you would be the author and I would maybe probably just be the publisher or editor and you will take all the credits. You won't sue me later. No, it's, so we have a contract. <laughs> <laughs> Interestingly, ghostwriting isn't just about books. If I write content for you, if I write a speech for you, if I write a press release for you, that's ghostwriting. Mm -hmm. So it's essentially writing for somebody else without taking the credit for it. Okay. So how are you, able, like you started and you built a story, you said how you started, but how was it easy to start from just editing for people? How did you translate into having a proper foundation and building a clientele, say building yourself in that area? So um, I wouldn't say it was easy, but I did great work when I started editing. So it just grew from there. You know, people just kept referring their friends, their colleagues, their mentors to us and you know, we just kept having a steady stream of um, clients. What eventually I realized, look, you have to build a structure around this. So then of course I had mentors, I had people coach me, I attended courses and yeah, mm -hmm. slowly and you know, steadily we built structure around this. So right now I have a team, um, yeah. So I wouldn't say it's easy, however, again, I'm not, um, because maybe it's because I stumbled into it. It wasn't something, it wasn't in my plan, right? So it wasn't my plan at all. So I didn't have lofty dreams. I just took it one day at a time, you know, each opportunity at a time kept growing. And yeah. What would you I'm have here. been or what would you have done? And what was your initial plan before editing came <laughs> up? What was your initial dream? Okay, several things. <laughs> Should I start from childhood? <laughs> Let's just say in the last 10 years, um, when I went, yeah, 10 years ago, I wanted to teach. And I taught, and I enjoyed teaching. But I wanted more because I studied chemistry and I had a third class. And I know that I'm more brilliant than my third class, so I wanted to make up for the third class. So I came to Lagos to do my master's in managerial psychology. It was, coming to Lagos, I had wanted to build a teaching business, a homeschool business. Okay. 
um, you know, to create structure around the fact that you could get homeschool teachers. However, it wasn't quite easy because I didn't have the funds to build the kind of tech structure that it required. That was when friends started referring me for editing jobs. Before then, I used to edit even in school, but it wasn't something I thought was a business. In fact, I do remember that while I was searching for work, before, you know, after NYC, I looked for jobs in publishing firms as an editor and I didn't find. So when that started, like I said, referral on referral and, you know, I just discovered, look, why are you wasting time? Mm. You could do this. What, what, what are some of the, because we need to wrap up quickly, some of the disadvantages and um, what are some of the things you probably, in terms of a lot of people who want to get into, but let's start with like a disadvantage because we need to quickly wrap up. What's some okay, of the disadvantages? disadvantages for the author or for the for you. ghostwriter? Well, in the, the Nigerian publishing industry isn't fully developed. So um, it's, the disparity is quite much, right? Um, for instance, um, if we were to charge international standards, we should be charging a minimum of $10,000. Wow. That is from my firm, of course. Um, a minimum of $10,000 for ghostwriting. But convert that to Naira. <laughs> and incidentally, our vision is to serve Africans. So even our clientele abroad, we have clients across mm. four continents right wow. now. So they are literally... all Africans because our vision is to tell African stories. So we also have to be considerate that, look, you are serving Africans. I know, right? <laughs> you know? Okay. So that means that obviously you're obviously have to read you have to be in touch with what is happening all around the world yeah i mean because of time i mean what are just quickly plans for the future what is your dream for ghostwriting in, in africa to make to make it more attractive to make the publishing industry as a whole more attractive to get more africans to share their stories because stories save lives stories save lives and we need more people to let other people know that look you're not alone i have gone through this and you can rise through whatever mm. it is you're going through all right thank you so much Amy. i mean maybe i would <laughs> get you to write my is this autobiography or whatever <laughs> what but i mean that's just something a lot of people popular people that you know in in the world get people to ghost write and True. then you know they make so much money off you thank you for coming on the show it's really nice thank having you for you having me too uh, on the show all right so that's it with ghost writing now we're moving on to the next part of the show we have an artist who is coming. His name is Baba. I think it's Baba Riga. Yes, I hope I got that correctly. So we'll have him on the show. It's going to be a fun fest. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.